Hey guys, we're gonna test some art supplies from Target today. So first, let's go there and see what there is. I got coffee. I was really tired. I caved. Temptation got the best of me. I also have a small batch of orders that we need to drop off at the post office. This is just what came in on Sunday. So yeah, thank you guys for supporting my art. All right, guys, we are back from Target and I have two things to tell you. Yeah, that coffee was good. It's, it's gone already. And second of all, we are about to try one of the weirdest, probably most exotic art supplies I have seen in a really long time. As you can see here, these are watercolor creams. So I'm imagining this like painting with lotion, but who knows? Maybe you guys have tried this. If you have, tell me your thoughts. Now this thing here, I have seen this be used in lots of places in life but for some reason I have just been missing out and I want to give it a try. <laughs> I know this is like childhood satisfaction for lots of people so um, I want to know what it's about. That's all. It's, it's called a spiral stencil set. I think some people call it like a spirograph or something. I don't know, what do you call it? Let me know. <laughs> We're gonna try it. I'm really curious. So yeah. And then there was this brand of colored pencils called Art 101. I grabbed these because I've never heard of this brand before. So I thought I would test it to let you guys know my thoughts. You know, I've actually never tried most of these brands before. I did pick up some Strathmore mixed media paper and I can't remember if I've tried this or not, but I thought it would be really fitting for all the different things we have here and I didn't want to buy more than one type of paper. <laughs> also, can I just say I'm super excited for these. They seem awesome. And this is by Handmade Modern. I've never heard of this brand either, so that's exciting. This brand actually promotes environmentally, socially, and economically responsible management of the world's forests, so that's neat. Oh, and I forgot to mention, these watercolor creams are by the brand Bria Reese. So if you're curious about brands, there you go. Anyway, I'm trying all this stuff so you guys don't have to, or maybe if you guys were curious about it, we can experiment together. Okay, let's get started, make some art, and have a fun time. All right, we have all our art supplies and we're just gonna dive right into this. As I said, I've never tried one of these before, so <laughs> I'm just kind of giddy to do it. And this will probably be anticlimactic for some people, but... Not for me. Let's open up to our lovely first sketchbook page. Okay, so I think I'll just start with one of these. And there's all these fun pieces. Wow, okay, my first impression is these pens feel really cheap, so I hope they work. Ready for this? I'm gonna start in the center. Wow, they're like falling apart. I haven't even used them. Ooh. Okay, now I'll do the like furthest away one. Oh, I think I messed up. I did. <laughs> Fail. <laughs> okay, don't do the most outer dot. We're trying again. We cannot have this be my first page. Okay. I'm using a smaller one because bad first impression. I'll do the innermost one again. Ooh, this is ovally. Ooh, this is cool. 
Okay. What in the world? This is so cool. I have admittedly messed up a couple times. <laughs> Uh, like that. You kind of have to like press really hard against the edges if you don't want it to slide. Well, that was a, like a kind of cool first one, but like also kind of failed. <laughs> this one is much better, guys. Let's do orange. I'm doing that outermost one again. Wish me luck. Oh my goodness. This is probably so easy for people who like grew up doing this, but like I missed out on that part of childhood. Oh my goodness, I just messed up. I do not like this. I give up. I'm trying again. I'm doing the littlest one. I'm using purple. Okay, look, we don't succeed at everything in life, but this is, <laughs> this is very clearly not for me. I thought this would be easy, but this just tests my patience and I'm not enjoying it. So I'm not gonna continue messing with it. And that says a lot because usually I enjoy most creative things, but this, I detest it. This is not fun to me. This stresses me out. I thought it would be therapeutic. <laughs> it is the opposite, so I'm done. If you enjoy this, I'm not judging you. I'm actually a little jealous, so don't come for me, okay? <laughs> Let's do something that I will enjoy now. Let's try that. All right, we have a new page. Water. These beautiful watercolor creams. Ew, it smells interesting. All right, so this is what it looks like. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of like oil pastels. Do you kind of get that vibe? Oil pastels? <laughs> Let's get a feel for how they work. I just wanna... Oh my goodness, that is so satisfying. Yeah, I just realized these are metallic. I was wondering, because they have a bit of a shimmer. Okay, let's see how they... Whoa, they completely lift off the paper. That is wild. Are you serious? Wow, these are like the weirdest art supplies I have tried in a long time. Let's let this dry, but we're gonna start a painting. Okay, so I think I want to try like a, a loose bouquet of sorts. Dude, this thing rolls up in everything. Isn't that so cool? Okay, so... My goal here is just to do like some loose watercolor flower bouquet sorts of thing. I'm not really sure how I want to go about it, but yeah. Let's try this and then we'll start layering, I think. Okay, so my thoughts on this paint, I would definitely say I like it. It's fun to use just because it's so creamy and soft and just seems, I don't know, inviting to use. However, let me tell you my thoughts. The paint itself is not very pigmented. So if you're looking for something to like really add pops of color, I probably would not choose this set. This is something I would probably use for like exactly what I'm doing now. Uh, some loose florals that maybe don't require tons of uh, contrast <laughs> or maybe just abstract stuff in general. But like if you want to draw people or something, I would probably 
not use this watercolor set. If, I don't know if they had a non-metallic one or not, because <laughs> I was kind of in a hurry to get in and out. I don't linger at places super long these days, but I would have gotten the non-metallic had I seen it. All right, here's how this piece turned out. Admittedly, I was just testing the supply, so I didn't put like hours and hours of work into this. That's why I consider it a doodle, um, more of an experimentation, so yeah. So for the last project, I decided to take my jolly time because I love colored pencils. This set was really cute because of the pouch. I mean, look at those owls. Anyway, first I decided to sharpen that skin tone set because they were pretty dull. So I used my Mitsubishi sharpener and this thing is a beast. Now, the ultimate go-to test to see if I like colored pencils or not is always drawing an eye. I always gravitate toward an eye because it's easy, familiar. I can test the wax bloom see how well colors blend, and just test that pigmentation, you know? And overall, for the price of these pencils, you can't go wrong. I mean, they're a nice budget colored pencil, but I will be honest with you, Crayola is much cheaper, and I think they're better, like way better. The reason why is because both of these pencils have an excellent wax bloom, like I don't notice it at all. However, they just, don't blend very well and they're not super pigmented. I mean, compared to like Crayola, Prismacolor, Caran d'Ache, Faber-Castell, Arteza, I mean there are so many other brands I would choose over these colored pencils, but they are still really nice for the price. So I enjoyed using them and I enjoyed testing them. No, they're not my favorite, but I am still very satisfied. And I had fun drawing this eye, and the whole point of this video was to experiment, have some fun, and just be playful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed going to Target with me, buying some art supplies, and just testing them out. This was fun, and I'm actually going to say goodbye over voiceover. That feels weird, I haven't done this in probably over a year. Anyway, here's the finished eye. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you have a magnificent day. Bye.